Hello everyone and welcome to SoCaliRific. Today I'm back here at Knott's Berry Farm. I'm here for a quick trip just because I want to walk around, see what other decor they have put up for Mary Farm and just see what's new. So come along and let's go. So you can tell Mary Farm is almost here. Even before you step into the park, the Scary Farm banner is now gone and it is all decked out for Knott's Mary Farm. The bows are up and it is looking so festive for the holidays. So as soon as you walk in, they don't have much decor but they do have the little spinny tree up. So of course they'll be working on this. I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like this year. In my last few trips I've been here, it's been the galloping goose, but today we got the train and I love the train. Woo. <laughs> you better watch out, the bandits are on board. And look what has arrived. The Christmas tree in all its glory. Ooh, and then we have the star on the tippy tippy top. People usually gravitate to take a photo in the front, but you could come on any side and there's no line and get your photo rather quickly. So in previous years, the tree lighting was fine. They had a little song, it lights up, it looks pretty, very short moment. But this year, it seems like they're gonna be doing something a little different. It said that there might be dancers, singers, and Snoopy, which that just makes it 100 times better in my opinion. So I'll definitely be catching this because I need to see Snoopy lighting up this tree. I think last year they did it on the first night and then after that we didn't see him, but I am so excited to see what they have planned for this new tree lighting ceremony. So here's a look at this year's new bubble interactive one and it is like a little nutcracker. What I like about it, look, his little mouth moves, but I guess when you press it, the bubbles blow out from his top of his crown but it is pretty nice it's a little elaborate I like it Knott's Mary Farm so yeah this is this year's edition so we do have a little look at the newest spirit jersey for this year and I gotta say it feels super cozy this part of it like the Christmas plaid is very soft but if you want to take a look at the front it does have knots like the little poinsettia in gold but of course we have to take a look at the back and yep, also like some gold cursive $80 what do you guys think? Are you feeling this year's spirit jersey? So they have already released this new Knott's Berry Farm lounge fly from Mary Farm. And look, this one's really pretty and it's a little shiny with a little silver glitter. So the merch booth in front of the park is now officially open. So they do sell some Snoopy hats as well as this limited edition t-shirt and pink combo for only $19.99. So over here in Ghost Town, we have some more theme garland and also a lot of the floral has been changed out into poinsettias. So even old Betsy, last time I came, she didn't have the poinsettia, she had other floral. So I wonder if they're gonna add some more for this photo up. But again, look how pretty these are. So over here at the Wilderness Dance Hall, which I love grabbing some snacks. Not much decor has popped up, just these little reindeer. But I'm sure they'll be adding a lot more floral to this area. Well, this little corner looks pretty. Most recently for Scary Farm, we had like a crash vehicle, but now we have these beautiful little presents. And it looks like they brought this photo op back. And this one's actually really nice. A lot of people take their photos, and at night I even like it even more because it's all illuminated, a little ornament. Here in Cordy's Corner, I like how the shops have like different Christmas trees. And look how pretty this one is, like a little winter wonderland but what's neat is if you like like the theme of the tree they do sell a lot of the ornaments as well to go with it so you could recreate it in your home as well so that's really nice so here's some of the mary farm merch but i think a lot of it honestly is from last year so i don't think they released the newest stuff yet but they still have some really cute options honestly i don't remember seeing this big old water bottle either it just says not to mary farm not too decorative but a little plain and simple if you're interested this looks new as well too, but this looks so simple. Not Mary Farm. Looks like something you can make like on a Cricut machine. So they also got in these little plushies. They have different versions. Right here is a little snowman. This one's cute. But oh, I just look at this price. $39.99 for this. I mean, it's cute and all, but that is pricey. This one is super cute. It's a little tree. Again, pricey though. And they even have a bigger version. And this one is $50. They're taking over. There are a ton to choose from. So just want to give you a quick little overview to show you. So this one's $64. I mean, they're super cute, but $70? She's like buying an actual real wreath over here. But I just wanted to show you in case you're interested. So we have seen this hat before. But for the holiday season, they did get a little revamp. And look. It is Snoopy in a hat. Little elf hat. Isn't that so cute? I've actually seen a few guests walking around with this already, so it seems like it's going to be a little hit. I think then the shirt that they're selling currently for the event, he has this little hat too. So they did sell this last year, but it did sell out. But there's only two right now. But this is so adorable. Look like at little Snoopy Santa. Plush. So cute. So over here at the main stage, it is set up for home for the holidays. And this show, of course, will be offered 
Dairy Mary Farm, but they put it up rather quickly. So over here on top of the boardwalk shop, we have another little Christmas tree, and this one is compiled of different surfboards. But I do want to come back because look at the fountain. They are lighting it up already, but since it's not very dark out, can't appreciate its nighttime glory. So hopefully I'll still be here when it's a little darker so we can see this all illuminated. We have some more decor popping up over here on the boardwalk. So right now, Snoopy and Pigpen, we're out. Super cute, you don't get to see Pigpen as often. They were currently meeting in front of the boardwalk ballroom, but it seems like good news. They are finally moving back to Camp Snoopy for Mary Farm. So last week I came to Fiesta Village and they had like no decor, but now they put up their theme garland, which is super cute. They have it all around Fiesta Village. But not only that, they have put up their Christmas tree. Ooh, look how pretty this one is too. And what's really neat is that during Mary Farm, they also do their little light up ceremony. It's usually like different colors. It's really simple, but it's actually really nice. So if you're in the area, make sure to check it out. Here in Camp Snoopy, they put up some more decor as well. I love this little garland of all the Peanuts characters. Always so nice to see more and more here. So last time I showed you all the candy canes that went up, but now they put up this little pickup truck. I wonder if they're gonna add some more to the back, but this is super cute. And also they wrapped all the trees with Christmas lights. And if you've been here during Mary Farm at Camp Snoopy, they go all out with the lighting. And a newer addition here to Camp Snoopy, look, they got their own Christmas tree. Ooh, what do you guys think? Are you liking it? Super cute. Honestly, the more trees around the park, the better. So this is another little photo opportunity. Let me tell you, people are already utilizing it as well. So they also decorated this stage once again. Hopefully this is where the Peanuts characters are gonna be meeting. Again, we have no idea. I just have to wait until Mary Farm begins, but that is definitely like a priority on my agenda to see where you could get a photo with them over here in Camp Snoopy. Also these little cabins, they try to spruce them up as well by giving a little floral, a little Christmas vibe. So they haven't brought the new Mary Farm merch quite yet as of today, but they did bring in last year's lounge fly collection. Ooh, this train. You hear it? It's a going. It's pretty loud, <laughs> but I'm happy it is back. But we have Snoopy and his little gumdrop collection. And look at Snoopy. He's over here chowing down. So cute. And they also have the bag as well. Look at this snow globe. I always like snow globes. I just don't have a lot of space, but this one is super cute. And right over here we have another photo op. It's always so nice to get a little festive backdrop. So the sun is beginning to set and things are starting to light up. They look so pretty. I haven't been here at night in a while. I usually come during the day. Honestly, I wasn't even planning on coming today. I did start my day at Disneyland because it was the start of the holidays over there. But honestly, I got overwhelmed by the crowds. It was just way too many people. I got to ride Small World, which made me happy. So I didn't get to do my Disney video, but I thought, why not head on over to Knott's? All right, guys, so Mary Farm starts officially next week, November 22nd, and I am just so excited. And of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along. All right, but for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.